Hi, this is Mark Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com. Today, we will learn how to set up the joints. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set the duration of this composition, this project. Just go to Composition menu, Composition settings, or you can press Ctrl K. This opens the composition settings. I will leave everything as is, but just modify the duration and type 30.0 to set it to 30 seconds. Press OK. And now we have uh, the duration to 30 seconds. I will set the duration of all the layers to be the same as the composition. You see, it's, they are shorter than the composition. Just press Ctrl A or Command A on Mac to select all. Then press end on your keyboard because I want to go to the end of the comp. Then press Alt closing bracket. There. Okay, we have that. Now it's time to set up the joints. To deselect all layers, I will click on an empty space. Let me move uh, the cursor to the starting position in the timeline. Okay, there. Now we are ready to set up the joints. We need to set up the joints because, look, whoops, let me lock the joints layer by pressing on the little lock column to the left of the layer's name, you see? Now I can't mess with it, it's locked. That's good. And now look, if I take the rotation tool and rotate the left forearm, it rotates very stupidly, you see? Control Z to undo. And the same happens with the arm. And you see, it's terrible. And with all the other parts of the body, and what we need is to have the joints properly set up. Ugh. Let me undo all of that. Okay. And the way we do that is by using the pan behind tool. I call it the pivot point tool. You can also press Y to select it, okay? With that tool selected, uh, let me disappear the black of the background and bring the transparency by clicking on the transparency icon at the bottom of the composition panel. Uh, there. Okay, now let me expand the workspace by having the mouse over the panel and pressing the back quote key on the keyboard, remember, I use this a lot. And now, let's adjust the pivot points. Ah, look at all that space. We can work comfortably. Just click and drag on the rotation points to its proper place. For this, I created a layer inside Illustrator that tells me the exact center of that joint circle. That way, I can easily set up each pivot point. I will ignore the hands and the feet for now because we will set them later. We will have everything prepared for the replacement animation switch, but later, okay? So I will continue with the torso, then right arm, right forearm, the left leg, okay? Then the right leg, okay? And finally, I'll go to the head. Great. Now let me restart the panels and I need one more layer to set up the lower torso, which is at the bottom of all the layers right there. I select it and from the workspace, just drag the pivot point to the correct place. And we're done. Now let's test those rotations. Okay. I pick the rotation tool and test some layer rotations. I test the arms, okay, the other arm. Oh, whoops, I picked the upper torso. Oh, let's test it. Yep, the rotation is good. Now the other arm and right now, everything is disconnected, which is fine, we will connect it later. Let's go one part at a time, as Jack the Ripper says. We are just checking the rotation, the pivot points, okay? Making sure everything rotates from where it's supposed to rotate. The head rotates good, the face is disconnected, but it will all be fixed once we finish with this rig. Okay, perfect. 
Now let's move to the next lesson in which we will connect all the body parts. This process will be called forward kinematics. See you there.